Okay, so we've got a pair of simultaneous equations here, and we've got a problem because the coefficients of the x and the coefficients of the y are different. So we need either the x is the same or the y is the same. Now, looking at this, I could times the bottom by 3 and the top by 8 to get the y's the same, but it looks much easier to get the x is the same. So if I times the top by 3 and times everything at the bottom by 2, then it will get the x is the same. So I'm going to times the top by 3 first. So we get 6x minus 9y equals 36. I'm going to times the bottom one by 2. So we get the 6x, so we have these the same. Plus 16y equals minus 14. And be careful to um, times everything in the equation by 2 and everything in the equation by 3. So with simultaneous equations, we work downwards. And the rule of what we're doing is if we have the same signs, we subtract. And if we have different signs, we add. So looking at the six x's, we have the same signs. They're both positive. So we are going to subtract. OK, so 6x take away 6x says nothing, which is good because we want to get rid of that. Minus 9y take away 16y. So minus 9y, and we're going to take away 16y. So we're going to end up with minus 25y. And we've got 36 take away minus 14. Now that's going to be the same as a plus. When you have two minuses next to each other, it will be a plus. So that's going to be 50. So I'm going to put my lines down the side. And we're going to divide both sides by minus 25. And you end up with y equals, so that's going to be a minus, and it's going to be minus 2. Now if you're not comfortable with doing that, you can um, switch the signs first. So if you end up with this problem, what you can do is you can just effectively times both sides by minus 1 first. So you've got 25y equals minus 50, and then just divide by 25. So y equals minus 2. OK, now we need to put that into the equation. So I'm going to pick the top one. It doesn't matter which one you pick. So we've got 2x minus, and then we've got 3 times minus 2 equals 12. So let's put our lines in. So we've got 2x, and that's going to be minus 6, and then the minus will make it a plus 6, equals 12. We're going to take away 6 both sides. 2x equals uh, 6. And we're going to divide both sides by 2. We end up with x equals 3. Now we can put that into the second equation to check that it works. So we've got a 9 and then minus 16. 9 take away 16 is minus 7. 